Hey, what is going on guys? It is Jaco here and I am back again today with some more GTA and today is a little bit different. Today I want to go over the top three things I think GTA should either add to a new update or add to GTA Online overall at some point in time. So if you are new to the channel, thank you for clicking on the video and be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you do enjoy. And uh, if you guys want to put your input in the comments below, go right ahead. Tomorrow during the new update, sometime in the morning around noon-ish, I'll start uh, posting videos on what I think of the new cars, the new business, whatever. I'll be doing that um, from my PC. I got some uh, special money on there if you get my gist. So uh, yeah, I'll start on PC tomorrow and make a bunch of reviews on cars that I like or what is worth it so yeah let's get started with one of the first things on my list all right so i parked my akua right here in the middle of the street because one of the first things on my list is improved house slash mansion or apartment customization apartments and houses nowadays are pretty much garages unless you want to do a heist that's pretty much their only use and there's no business things you can do in it you can go on a computer there's a couple things you can interact with it isn't the most stellar thing in the world but uh this is one of the houses that really caught my attention all the lights outside maybe if you could customize a color or something change the color of the driveway make the pool a little bit bigger add a jacuzzi and uh some other stuff like that one of the best games that uh implemented customization in in the house was saints row 2 if you guys have played saints row 2 you know there was three uh customization options like the poor one the like a little bit more expensive and the really expensive one and uh yeah they were super cool they had a bunch of like stripper poles and like i don't remember if there was like alcohol you could really drink in the game i know there was like you could do like weed or something but like i don't really remember all of it but yeah all these mansions have like so much potential that i'm flying over all these pools and like uh garages that are attached you know um the house i own uh the mansion the house the house is attached to the garage but i have to leave the house to enter the garage which doesn't make any sense technically but um <clears throat> hey it's just how they did it um if they could fix that that would be pretty cool it'd be a little bit more convenient um but like i said like outer mansion or house uh customizations with lights or change the color of a driveway the roof or something would be really cool obviously there's uh you couldn't really do that all the time because if someone else owns the house uh you couldn't really do that because they have to own the house too and they have to have their customizations on it but uh maybe if you're in a solo session or you're the only person in that session that owns the house maybe adding the jacuzzi or something uh would only show up for you and your friends all right so for now in-house customizations uh, there's really nothing you can do in a house other than start a heist and of course you can have a couple of drinks whatever uh, sit down watch TV you can pretty much do that anywhere now especially in GTA online and you can also watch every single episode of every TV show on your phone uh, with the website at website app on your phone and uh, some things that I have ideas of add like stripper poles add more things you can interact with like some drinks um, some money or something like that one thing they really did that was really cool was the office which added like more guns more like uh drugs and more money on the ground which was a super cool thing um maybe doing something with the fridge and like i said like stripper poles or something uh because these houses are kind of lame they're pretty much high starters and uh yeah and i have that big balcony that i can't even use um so yeah let's get on to the next uh idea though that i have all right, next on my list is a new business, which um, I believe is gonna be in the casino update, but um, some ideas and some positive things that uh, I want is, of course, something easy to use, kind of like the nightclub. Um, the nightclub was a really cool business if you had the MC businesses to get the extra drugs and stuff, but the popularity was kind of annoying, uh, to be honest, uh, like you see here, I've done none of the popularity. Um, the casino is gonna be a pretty big place from what we've seen from screenshots and some clips so far. So maybe some more things to interact with, like uh, some drinks and some uh, stuff you can actually see, like the basement where you can actually see your stock and some uh, easy supply missions. I don't, I hope that it's not like get supplies um, 
bring it back and then bada boom bada bing you're getting stock out of nowhere <clears throat> hopefully it's a, a little bit more detailed and has a cooler some cooler features that um will honestly be more profitable and way more fun than any business we've ever seen so far so yeah pretty much i just want a new cool business because the last time we got into business was a, about a year ago um and it was a nightclub and the nightclub was a pretty cool place obviously lots of things you can interact with you can dance and stuff and in the casino hopefully it's not like you have to get pop popularity so people actually enter your casino um hopefully it's like an afk kind of you can gain money through it just like the nightclub and hopefully there is no popularity because popularity missions were a pain in the ass and probably my least favorite missions in this entire game out of any supply of missions and yeah improved profits and just like a really cool big interactive place then you will also be making money uh, of your own from the casino slots and stuff like that they've already um confirmed some of the uh games so far like blackjack i believe poker obviously um the big wheel spin thing and uh yeah some other stuff like that so yeah hopefully the casino business is going to be a really cool place that we will able be able to spend a lot of time in and yeah it'll be really cool and hopefully it's a nice old place so let's get on to my third and final idea right now all right so my third and final thing on my list is improved heists a new heist or some sort of new payout or something like that like i said i know there's probably not going to be a new heist in the casino update um, we probably would have known something by now but an improved heist payout for all the old heists will be really 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 nice because one million or a little bit more than that is kind of like pretty low for today's standards in gta online obviously they were made in like 2015 and they didn't adjust for inflation uh, as it is now and they're pretty much a waste of time they're not very efficient you have to do a bunch of setups and the host doesn't even get the money from the setups so they have to take all the money at the very end and they have to pay the setup fee which is a real thing i understand but the fact that like um it's so much of a low pay it's not worth it anymore a lot of the businesses you can make tons more money unless of course you glitch the heist which we all know how to do is you can just have the host leave at the end and give all the money to the rest of the dudes um the other, your other three friends or one or two friends bogdan problem was a great um example of that you can just two man it and uh give your friend a million dollars and he can give you a million dollars and you're pretty much making 500k every run and every like 15 20 minutes and that's a, like obviously that's really good efficient cash but it's not the correct way to do it so one thing rockstar could do probably the easy way out at some point in time maybe not the casino update but either add a new heist with a good payout or just um increase the money um given out at the heist that already exists one thing rockstar i don't think really thought of um to be honest they probably didn't think gta online would last this long in the first place and they're making still tons of money from this game from shark cards and people even buying the game itself and picking it up for the first time or second or third time whatever but uh they don't really make those things to last because unfortunately heist uh, 2015 heist when it first came out nobody does those anymore i i don't i get i get very few invites from them and if they are doing them it's because they want to unlock the cars and the vehicles from them and um <clears throat> yeah so they're kind of useless and i wish they had added more meeting to the heist maybe um hopefully maybe in a future update they'll add new guns or something or something you can unlock from the heist because heists right now are useless and some uh, some of the business um the crate business is useless because you have to spend money to get the to get the crates and you can just do a coke lab or a nightclub run or something like that and you can get your stock for free and you can just steal it real quick instead of paying money to get your stock and then bringing it back because that risk uh reward is not as um efficient and stuff like that for uh the crate business so i wish they would just improve some of the old things that people don't do much anymore or that like are really inefficient like if they improved heists and improved the payouts obviously a lot more people would be doing them and hopefully in like the casino uh update that we will be getting tomorrow hopefully there's uh, a lot more money that can be made and um, that we can profit from because to be honest um obviously everything's getting a little bit dry that's why they do these updates all right so that was my third and final idea that i wish for um 
maybe in the casino update or at some point later in GTA Online. Um, obviously, new guns, new cars would be cool and everything. One thing that is probably an honorable mention, I want a car that has like, um, that's like a game changer. You know, we haven't had that game changer vehicle in a very long time that everyone has, that everyone rides. The Oppressor Mark II is probably that game, the last game changer, changer vehicle. It was very convenient and uh, it was very like fast and stuff. And it was very, obviously it's a grief machine, but um, if you made like a new car, like my favorite car is the Insurgent, maybe a new, like some sort of Insurgent Mark II or something. You shoot missiles out of the top or something. That would be sweet. But unfortunately, maybe we won't get those um i don't know i don't know what other weaponized vehicles we can even get um in a gta online next so uh yeah but that has been my top three and a little bit honorable mention wish list hope you guys did enjoy be sure to drop a like subscribe um especially subscribe because tomorrow i will be making casino update videos through my pc with the quote unquote special money i have please don't ban me rockstar i really want to make those videos and uh yeah Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Please drop uh, comments if you want to put your input down there. Go right ahead. I, will, I read all my comments. And yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Peace.